In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who had been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem. From the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When the apostles entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, the apostles were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all response be. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Lord loves the city founded on holy mountains, loves the gates of Zion, more than any dwelling in Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. But of Zion it must be said, they are were born here. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. The Most High confirms this, the Lord notes in the register of the peoples. This one was born here. So all sing in their festive dance, within you is my true home. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Please stand.
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus, where his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples whom he loved, standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Masantos, yakabwasan, sikatayon, amin. Good morning! Untipag paray taga at parokya na Most Holy Trinity Paris Manson. One of the traditions in Pangasinan is that every year, every parish comes to this Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag in order to offer Mass of Thanksgiving. So as we recall, Misa de Gracia. It is always good that we appreciate what we are doing. Ang tanong natin, what does it mean, Misa de Gracia? It is a mass. First of all, a thanksgiving. It is a mass during which we acknowledge what we are, what we have, we are as all blessing from God. It is always good to realize that we should always characterize our life or even our whole life of thanksgiving because of everything that happens, whether favorable or unfavorable, they are all opportunities for us to acknowledge how gracious God is and how merciful God is towards us. So it is always good to begin by recognizing the blessing that God has shown upon us, especially in our particular parish, most Holy Trinity Parish. Napakaganda ho. Isang padokya ho tayo. Galing ho tayo sa Manzon, sa walong padokya ng Most Holy Trinity para magpasalamat sa Diyos sa lahat ho ng biyaya na ating natanggap. All the blessing that all people in our parish have received from God. Good health, our faith, acknowledgement, or even our dedication to Mary. So it is also an opportunity for us to thank Our Lady of Manawag for her motherly intercession and also protection. Kaya nga kung ating babalikan itong ating napakinggan, Ebanghelyo sa umaga nito, in our gospel, Mary was a woman of commitment. Mary was a woman of prayer. And Mary was the best 
of all mothers. Ito po yung ating pagninilayan sa umaga na ito. First, Mary was a woman of commitment. Mary really don't understand what the angel told her that afternoon in the village of Nazareth. But she did realize that God was asking her to do something and she told him, Yes. Mary always said yes even when it is hard. Marahil nung una, hindi maintindihan ni Maria yung sinabi ng anghel. Pero kinalaunan, she realized that God was asking her to do something and told him, yes. All throughout her life, she did what God wanted her to do. And that was the most important thing in the world for her. There were no arguments, no excuses. Mary knew what God wanted her to do, and she did it. Lots of times there was pain and also suffering in it. But she did what God wanted her, wanted her to do. Ganon din marahil ang unang mensahe sa atin. Mary was a woman of commitment. Ganon din sa atin ang mensahe. Tayo rin dapat nandiriyan yung ating commitment. Sometimes we experience la lots of times there was pain or even suffering in our experiences. But like Mary, she did what God wanted her to do. Marahil mahirap. Marahil hindi natin maipaliwanag yung mga nangyayari sa buhay natin. Pero nandyan pa rin ang pagsasabi natin ng yes, pagsunod pa rin sa Diyos. She did what God wanted her to do. First, Mary was a woman of commitment. Second, Mary was a woman of prayer. The Gospel writers tells us many times, Mary pondered all these things in her hearts. In all the most important moments in her life, she was praying. We know that Mary is praying for every one of us today. Maybe that is why we are not such beautiful people sometimes because we don't pray enough. Dahil sa marami tayong schedule, marami tayong pinagkakaabalahan, marami tayong ginagawa araw-araw, pag minsan nakakaliktaan na nating magdasal. We do hundred, hundred other things each day, but we don't pray as much as we should. Kaya palaw, pangalawang paalala sa atin, nandiriyan sana yung ating buhay panalangin. Napakaganda na pagkagising na pagkagising pa lamang, pagdarasal na kagad ang ating inaatupag. Bago matulog, nandiyan din sana yung ating pagdarasal. Tulad ni Maria, Mary was also a woman of prayer. Pangatlo, Mary is also truly beautiful woman because she is a mother. 
none of us can deny that the most beautiful person in our life, lives is our mother. A mother is the one who always takes you back when no one else wants you. Ang tanging mga inalamang, sila ang nandiyan na handa palagi na tanggapin tayo, sino man tayo sa mundo na ito. Sila pa nga ang nagsasabi na tayo ang pinakamaganda, pinakagwapo sa mundo na ito. Not one of us can deny that the most beautiful person in our lives is our mother. And the beautiful thing about mother is that she gives life. When we struggle to think of an example of real love, we always have to use the example of a mother's love. No human love is greater than that. And no mother's love is greater than the love of Mary. Mary is also truly beautiful because she is a mother. Tatlo ang paalala sa atin, minsahi sa atin sa araw na ito, ayon sa ating napakinggang ebanghelyo, o di kayo sa ating misa de gracia sa araw na ito. First, Mary was a woman of commitment. Second, Mary was a woman of prayer. And third, Mary was the best of all mothers. Amen. Let us all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for all salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We joy joyously praise the Lord, who raised His Son from death, and so assured of us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help in times of trial. Our response, Father, preserve us in your love. Father, preserve us in your love. That our pastors, especially the Pope, and our bishops may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel His sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, 
may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. God, our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardship in the knowledge that we that will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this hope offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy, as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just 
our duty, and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name, O the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving a thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
for us we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life in a chalice of salvation giving thanks that you had held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope socrates our bishop Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command, and born by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and safe from all distress in the way of blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
My peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Bago ho natin ibigay ang kapayapaan sa bawat isa, bibigay ho natin ang kapayapaan ni Kristo sa bawat isa. Huwag ho sana natin kaligtahan na mag-smile lang ho tayo, ngumiti lang ho kayo, pagbibigay niyo ang kapayapaan sa bawat isa. Ari tagapadokya na mo soli Trinity, iimiss niyo labat, siya kasi bangot, pangit. So let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of your mother, of your son, may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Makakalikatag ta dagdakil so pamilyar ya lupa ya nanenang nang ko. Susarayan lupa at nalapo at parokya na Most Holy Trinity Parish. Tipag si rin, iretaga Most Holy Trinity. Halaan niya pang kanaunawa, mi salamat tayo o saray lectors, commentators, saray extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, saray altar servers tayo, saray kabataan, saray choir tayo, saray couples for Christ, yawarjaya kaiba tayo o sayan misa. Tipagat tayo ra, yamin. Tan, siyempre, mi salamat tayo, tan, tipakan tayo mat, iray um, uh, walura, ya barangay, ya nasasakupan, nasay padokya tayo, na Most Holy Trinity Parish. Tan. Uh, pagkatapos po ng misa, sa mga magpapabless ho, huwag na ho kayang aalis dyan sa upuan ninyo. Ako na lang po at ang, yung mga brothers ang iikot para basbasan. Basbasan kayo ng holy water o di kayo babasbasan yung mga religious articles o di kayo mga images. So wala na hong pupunta dito sa harapan para hindi ho tayo crowded. Ano? Kami na ho ang iikot. Then, lastly, sa ramay parishioner na Most Holy Trinity, kasumpal na misa, nayarihan nyo so mampapicture. Di tanda darap, balat akay yung makasagot dyan at sanctuary, awa? Nayarihan niyo ang papicture. Kung tantumat, nayarihan niyo lang sa umpasyar, undungaw, dyan at benag na sa may image na Our Lady of Manawag, open lakuno. Taan dapat, before mga 10.30, dapat asumpal tayo lang. Taon sublay lay Padre Randolph sa parokya na sa lilimasan. Salamat. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Amen. May prayer ni Manaya, prayer for blessing. Anani ni Kansyon na recessional. Mga prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you gave us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health. Ano na tayo tayo irararamay? Inaro tayo bilay, uh, masasakit, ari walay lilik na un, physically, emotionally, psychologically. The truth intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Apitaga, iramay pa-bless tayo yung images, rosaries. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ikot ho kami, wag na ho kayong lalaalis sa upuan ninyo. Ikot po ako at mga, ang mga brothers para basbasan ang mga religious article natin at kayo po mismo. Mm -hmm.